and if supply uh, disrupts, the government may miss the, uh, missed 14 percent of not blending target that has been set for uh, 2023. Back to you. Okay, thank you so much, Prakash, for setting that context. Let's take the discussion forward. We have two guests joining us on the show for this. Mr. Kushal Mittal, the Joint MD of PCL Industries, and Mr. C.K. Jain, the CMD from Gulshan Polyols, joins us on the show. Uh, could, uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Thank you so much for making time and speaking with us. Uh, Mr. Jain, wanted to begin the discussion by asking you, what do you make of this recent move coming in from the government? And also, is it temporary in nature or are you worried that this could have long-term implications as well? You see, good morning. And we have to first understand what is E20. E20 is basically a dream project of our Honorable Prime Minister to, to bring the energy security in the country. You see, this is very important factor and is a long drawn strategy and long drawn program of the government of India to bring the energy security. Consequently, what will happen? Farmers will get benefit, more employment will get, uh, will get benefit. And everywhere the, uh, the, the uh, income of the farmers, grain farmers especially, will go, is going to improve with this. As far as the temporary disruption is concerned, yes, the, the disruption is there, but we are quite hopeful that the, the, uh, a solution will come out of it within a few days. There's no problem in, in that we are not foreseeing. The government is sensitive about the E20 program. It, it cannot be undone without due thoughts, without uh, giving relief to the grain industry. That is important. Mr. Jain, point taken, let me... Is, Yes, please. Sorry, let me just bring Mr. Mittal also into the discussion. Wanted to get a sense from you. What is the industry doing now with respect to these, uh, you know, the suspension of the supply happening? Are you looking at alternative sources? And if yes, what kind of price differential it will have for you? Yes. Uh, see, the FCI policy, as we all of all the distributors across the country know, that the FCI policy was a short term measure. Uh, while the while the country gears up in its grain production, see worldwide ethanol is made out of maize, and India will have to follow the same policy. Now, if we were to take the E20 target, and for that the government needs about 500 crore liters just from the grain sector, that requires about 14 million metric tons of maize a year. So that is not a big amount for a country like India to achieve. See. Uh, currently, the uh, the uh, the average yield in India is around 300 metric tons per acre, which can go up to 500 to 550 metric tons, uh, which is the world uh, world best. So India will have to go on the same trend, and see this is a short term, uh, you know, problem that we are facing, and uh, to battle this uh, in the long term, the the distilleries across the country will now have to focus towards maize as an alternate option. And the government will have to revise the price for uh, ethanol made from maize, as that is currently unviable today. Maize prices are in the market hovering around 21 to 22 rupees a kg, whereas the price for ethanol is at 55 rupees. So that needs to be revised. And we're waiting on more clarity from the government regarding that. Waiting for more clarity, but in the meantime, Mr. Jain, uh, what do you think should be the next uh, steps going forward? Because, of course, it will mean that there might be more penalties and more cost pressures that will come for the companies till the time there's a resolution. So, uh, what are you doing with respect to your business now? You see, the resolution will come. There's no doubt about it. The alternate source will be also be found out, but it's a long-term device. In the meanwhile, they have to restore the FCI supplies because shifting to the maize, shifting to the other things is, is a long-term process. Overnight, anything cannot happen. We'll suffer for some days, no doubt about it, but solution will come about it. The another factor, which is very important to be noted that the ethanol is one same specification Either it is uh, it is produced from sugarcane syrup or from maize or from uh, FCI rice, anything. The price gap between the sugarcane uh, uh, sugarcane uh, sugarcane juice 
produce uh, ethanol is 10 rupees. We fail to understand why it is. We fail to understand why it is. You see, uh, the maize ethanol gives more octanes. It is a better product. Worldwide, it is used as a uh, as an alternate fuel. But here in India, the gap between the sugarcane price, sugarcane ethanol, and uh, DFG or maize is almost ten rupees, which is too high. I think government need to think about it. How to how to sort it out? How to do it? That is the biggest problem at the moment. Another another factor is, you see, the if government has to take over his E20 program, 600 to 700 crore liters has to come from grain. Sure. Which is almost 50% of their requirement. No, sure, Sugar point taken. Uh, Mr. Jain, point taken, but just wanted to uh, get Mr. Mittal also to talk about what is happening otherwise in the business as well. Of course, this is a bit of a temporary, uh, you know, uh, issue uh, cropping up for the industry. But otherwise, how's the demand momentum overall? What kind of growth are you expecting in this year? Uh, see, for us uh, as a company, uh, we uh, more than half of our capacity, installed capacity of 600 KL is uh, of ENA. So when I talk about ENA as a company, uh, the demand is strong. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, as the grain prices are increasing, we are able to pass on some of that to our ENA buyers. Uh, for ethanol, uh, yes, uh, you know, there is a disruption. And uh, we are yet to see a solution. And post, there is a solution, which it will be there in, a, in I think, a week to 10 days' time, we're hoping. And uh, I think the demand will again pick up and the supply will also pick up. And uh, we'd be able to supply from our newly installed plants as well. Okay, seven to ten days at least. That's what Mr. Hitman